So I downloaded a mod for this game. It's this uh, voice acting mod that somebody told me about. I don't want to add any mods to this game, but this one seems kind of useful. And if I don't like it, I can just not have it in, in future videos. But I feel like it might just might be a nice kind of quality of life thing. So we're going to try it out. And I think I know what's happening um, with like the big white light, I think. And again, please don't spoil anything. Don't confirm or deny anything that I'm saying here. I think what's happening is some sort of supernova. And when that happens, you get reset back to before you launch and you, you retain all the knowledge that you have, obviously. And you're trying to figure out a way to stop the supernova. Maybe, maybe not stop it, maybe figure out what's causing it. I don't really know. Again, please don't tell me anything. You guys actually did a really good job in the first video of not telling me anything at all except for telling me about this voice acting mod which is very helpful so thank you give yourselves a round of applause also if you're interested i will be streaming on saturday uh, may 20th at 12 p.m eastern standard time i will be playing phasmophobia with viewers who want to play with me i will be playing uh alien isolation and outlast as well and possibly other games if i can fit them in so if that sounds interesting to you if you want to play phasmophobia with me and other viewers make sure to join my discord i will leave a uh, link to it down in the description also make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already also, I'm kind of curious to see what causes like these loops to happen. I'm wondering if it's like a time based thing. So I'm going to be running a, a timer on my phone as I hit start. I don't know if it is a timer. I, I'm curious to see if it starts timing you when you hit start or if you like launch your ship. So and I haven't really figured out if, if it is a timer, I haven't figured out how long it is. So I'm going to be kind of running an experiment of time in this video just to see if I can figure it out on my own. Okay, I'm going to hit start on that. I'm going to wake up. And let's let's see what this voice acting is like. Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship's all fueled and ready to go. This is very interesting. This is not I already listened to this one person talk before I loaded up this game. And it's just not what I expected. I wonder what the other voices are going to sound like. I want to see really quickly. I want to see if other people have um, other things to say now that I have, you know, died once already. Hey, Hello? It's you. Oh my God. Okay. That's interesting. They take your plastic off of your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Wow. Okay. Okay. So that doesn't change. Let me go find one other person. I think I'm going to go back to Giant Steep. I, as much as, you know, can't believe it's the planet I decided to start off with because it's water. And the whole reason I'm playing this game is to get away from Subnautica. So, of course, the first planet I go to is water. But I want to explore a little bit more. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to go underwater at some point. But I just want to explore the other islands that I haven't done yet. Okay, Hornfells. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wished you'd seen that happen, huh? Uh, me too. I did. Was there something you needed? Take care. Okay, so he doesn't have anything. Hey, I was just about to come find you. Look, 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 you've got to see this. The Nomai statue's eyes are open. Guys, I said this last time. I know you don't remember. They, uh, used to be closed. Yeah, okay, so, interesting. It's just that one guy I can talk to and tell him I'm dead. Whatever, not a big deal. Let's go launch. We're gonna go back to Giant's Deep. And uh, there was one island that I went on and didn't explore because I, I thought the game was ending. So I just left, but we can go back. There might be more stuff to do. And then maybe we can go to another planet and see if we can get just a little bit done before uh, the world ends again. Ship logs, let's check the ship logs. I don't think there's anything new. There is the orbital probe cannon. So yeah, what I think is happening is I think the sun over there is blowing up. But again, I could be totally wrong. Please don't tell me if I'm correct or not. So let's launch. And there is also another location on, I forget this planet, what the planet's name is. There's another place here that I can go look that's on fire right there. So we can do that as well, but I think we're gonna go to Giant Steep over here. And there's nothing on that orbital, uh, there's no signal coming from that orbital probe cannon, at least from what I can tell. Jesus Christ. Oh God, oopsie, okay. So this, I believe this was where I was before. Oh my God, the flying is very difficult for me. Okay, you know, that was fine, that worked. So let's go back. I believe this was the island that we were on that I, I left before I even like really explored what was happening. 
Wait, Gabbro. Hi. Hey. Nice, it's you. Good to see you. Made it here in one piece. First solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Um, yeah. So, hey, uh, don't laugh, but I think I might have just, like, died somehow. You too? Do you remember, you know, dying a few minutes ago, maybe? I think we're the only ones who know. Yeah, yeah. I tried raving Hornfells and asking them if they had died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical or something. Well. Well, if you remember dying, then I guess I didn't just fall asleep and have a bad dream or something. I don't know what's going on, though. Today's been weird. Like, I was Say on that a different again. island earlier, right? I was on the beach looking at one of those big stone statues of a know my head. Next thing I know, it's looking back at me, glowing. Okay, so it's not just me that this stuff is happening to. So that should replace everything I'd just done, like it's been watching me through my own eyes, you know? Yep. Suddenly it stops, and everything's normal again. You yeah. too, huh? Come to think of it, when I died, I saw what I'm pretty sure were my memories going backward, just like that time with the statue. I think the know my statues are related to us dying somehow? Probably. And another thing, we died, but we aren't dead? That's pretty unusual for Arthians. Well, that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage. Let's talk about you, you know? How's space treating you? Um, what are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? Look at all philosophical with me. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. I tell you what, our space really gives you room to think. Quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by. Let's my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then less peaceful. Much less peaceful. How's space treating you? Where should I explore on Giant's Deep? Well, actually, after waking up from, you know, dying, I saw the same bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. Well, else, what else? You've been to Setu Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I get it. Have I been there? Beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. I don't know if I've been there. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. Give it a solid seven out of ten on the Gabbro relaxation scale. It's good for you. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. That okay? I think that's the one I died on last time. What's up with this planet? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you meant, like, tell me more about it. Well, uh, Giant's Deep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. Fantastic. There's a strong current of waves beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously. I tried everything I could think of to get past that current, and neither idea worked. As for land masses, I counted four islands, including this one. It's also the one with that Nomai statue I saw on the beach. Seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. Kai. Yep. Gabbro? Gabbro. He's just... <laughs> this dude doesn't give a shit about anything that's happening right now. Can we go back down, please? Literally doesn't care. And we're underwater now. Fantastic. Back up, please. Okay, Gabbro? You ever Bruh. stared at a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll pull you on a trance if you look at them long enough. What is happening? Just let me stop. How's space treating you? Where's your ship? That's a good question. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Uh, it's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed into space, I guess. <laughs> That'd be pretty nuts. I'm stu- I can't, like, move while I'm talking. Hope it's not lonely. <laughs> this dude's funny. Okay, let's keep going. This is where I stopped before for some reason. So let's see what's above here, or up this hill. Okay, he has a campfire. Okay, that looks to be, like, li like literally the only thing here. So we're gonna go back. We have a couple islands that we had not finished exploring yet, again, because we died. So let's do that. Gabbro's Island, view entry. 
Gabbro was lounging in a hammock near the island's shore. Gabbro found a Nomai statue on another island. The statue's eyes started glowing, and Gabbro saw their memories flash before their eyes. Gabbro remembers dying. They saw their memories flash before their eyes, just like the time with the statue. There's more to explore here. That that those two second bullet points were kind of derivative of each other. It's kind of strange. View rumored entry. Gabbro says there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. Fantastic. Statue Island. Um, yeah. This island must be where the Nomai created statues like the one in our observ observatory. I found the Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. I... Some of these are very derivative. You don't need to list some of these things twice. You can just change how they're worded. Anyways. Um, construction yard. This island is where the Nomai built the orbital probe cannon. For some reason, the Nomai put the orbital probe cannon on indefinite hiatus. The cannon was not asked to fire. According to a Nomai computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. There's more to explore here. So, yeah, so the construction yard, we were there before. Lunar ruins, ocean depths, statue island. So we need to go to statue island, I think, is where we're going to go next, or at least try to go next. That looks like the orbital probe cannon place. Yep. That is something else. I don't know what that is. Let's come back to that. Okay, I think this is Statue Island. I think. Okay. We're here. Get the suit. So, this is where we died last time, so hopefully we can get a little bit further before we die again. We're at about 15 minutes, at least on my timer. So, that's give or take a few minutes. Alright, so... That's the statue workshop. All right, what is, what is up this hill, if anything? Okay, it's another one of these things. I found this on another planet before, the first time I recorded, that I still haven't been back to, and I forget what the planet's called, but I found one of these weird platforms. Okay. Welcome to Giant Steep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. Inside the islands, in my workshop below. Oh, in the, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one door that I can't seem to get inside, or I, I haven't even tried to get inside. What is this thing? Okay, so that's what's up here. So yes, yeah, so I need to figure out how to get into the workshop. I think at some point. Oh. Okay, there's something down there. I think we can leave for now because I am not sure. I'm not sure what else I can be doing here yet. And there was one more island um, here that I have not seen yet, so we can go do that island, hopefully before we die. can't believe I left Subnautica just to end up on a, a water planet anyways. How ironic is that shit? Um, <laughs> I want to do a test. I want to see if I can uh, stop myself from falling if I just jump off here. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm good. I'm fine. Look at me. All right. There's one more island I want to check out. I don't know where it is, but I remember what it looks like. Okay, yeah, I think it's this actually, right over here. And that might be his ship. I think that's his ship. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Right? Wait. What's happening? Oh, no, okay, it's not happening yet. Is it? No, it is, it is happening, okay. Okay, so that was about, that was a little bit less than 25 minutes. That felt a lot shorter than the other times. I've only been recording for half an hour. So, 25 minutes, so maybe it's not time-based at all. Or maybe it's not like overall time-based, like maybe you're given a certain amount of time once you get somewhere. Huh. Okay, now I'm totally confused. I really want to go back to that one. I, I keep going back to Giant Steep, but I really want to go back to that one island. Actually, no, hold on. Let's let's read the, the ship logs. There's more to explore here on Gabbro's Island. There's more to explore on the construction yard. I can't go into the ocean depths. Or I can, but I can't go beneath the ocean depths. I found a sign for a statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island. Some know my children debated bypassing the statue's workshop door and sneaking inside being an alternate, more dangerous route. I wonder if that alternate, more dangerous route is underwater. Shit. I'm going to start timing myself again. So that was about 25 minutes. 
We're gonna go up, and we're gonna go find Giant's Deep again, and we're gonna find that one island. That's the last place I need to go on Giant's Deep that I haven't even been to yet, so... Oh man, this music is so pretty. It's beautiful. It really is. Let's go find that one island real quick, and then I think I'm gonna go to that orbital, uh, what is it called? The orbital probe cannon? Okay, yeah, here's the island. Ooh, wait, it doesn't even look like, okay, hold on, is that ghost matter? That look, that kind of looks like ghost matter. Yep, that is ghost matter. So, I can't even go that way. Can't even go that way, and there's something going on over there. I just don't know what. Okay, so never mind. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I, I have no idea what's going on there. So we're gonna leave the planet, we're gonna go to the orbital probe cannon. If we can even land on it, it kind of doesn't even look like we can land on it. My game just closed. What? Why? Oh, wait. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I see a thing. 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 Get over there. Okay. Ooh, if I go... Can I go all the way down here? Oh, shit. What's happening with the gravity here? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. It's one of these things. Um, what is happening? Ship log updated. Yeah. Control module. Whoa. Launch module. Probe tracking module. Okay. Huh. Okay, wait. Now how the hell do I get in there? Oh, wait, that looks like, uh, wait. Okay, that's interesting. I, f mm, I feel like I saw something like that on the, um, the construction yard. Up and around. Ooh. Okay. Hello? What is happening? Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Okay. Now what? Not you're not can you're not, okay, like where's my info? Thank you. Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. I I am so confused. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Okay. Warning. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Right. Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Hmm. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Right. Probe tracking module. Missing. And what is this? Launch module projection stone. Giant's deep projection stone. There, maybe? Mallow, my bet of 50%. Savra is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Kasava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? Guys. I can posit, I I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. The eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can, 
I'll make some adjustments. Okay. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Okay. I I feel like my theory of the sun going into a supernova is not correct anymore. So yeah, Giant's Deep. We were here before. So maybe we have to go back there. Okay, this is very interesting. I feel like I stumbled upon across something that's pretty important and um, I'm still still very confused. I think we should head back to the ship and read some of the ship logs. This was unbelievably difficult to land on, but the information that I've learned here is quite interesting. Okay, view ship log. Control module, launch module, probe tracking module. The broke okay, the broken remains of a Nomai space station in orbit around Giant Steep. There are three access ways branching off from the central hub area. The orbital probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. The Nomai pushed the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. The control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in a process. In the process, damage is detected in multiple modules. One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules, the launch module, looks heavily damaged as a huge breach in the glass viewport. The launch module's viewport window is fractured, exposing it to the vacuum of space. One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules, the probe tracking module, is receiving data from the launched probe. A Nomai computer reports the probe tracking module as missing. Okay, so yeah, so I feel like my theory of like the sun going into a supernova is not correct. Maybe not. Again, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to say it actually many more times throughout this playthrough, but don't confirm or deny any of the things I'm saying. Just let me figure it out. I'm theorizing right now. So my theory was that it was a supernova and maybe the Nomai were trying to figure out a way to prevent it. Um, but now I'm not so sure. I really don't know. I think I need to go back to Giant's Deep and go to the um, construction yard one more time and just take a look. And they also said something about the Ash Twin Project. Where did it say that? The Ash Twin Project. That is a location. Yeah, so there's an Ash Twin. That's a planet we can go to or a moon or something. So I feel like that might be our next location. How, how much time am I at? I'm at 18 minutes. I like kind of want to just sit around and see if the sun does explode just to confirm or deny my theory. I feel like I might do that until about 25 minutes. So I guess I will see you at 25 minutes and see if anything's happened. I don't want to get this as like a poster. I feel like this would be a really cool poster. As a complete side note, as I'm waiting here, I feel like this would be a really sick poster. And I wonder if I can go to uh, these these other parts of the uh, probe cannon that have kind of been flung off. I wonder if there's a way to land on those. I'm curious about that. Okay, something's happening. I didn't mean to fall in here, so now I'm gonna not be able to see what happens. I can't see, but I, th I think... Yeah, it's totally, it's totally the sun do going into like a supernova. That's totally what it is. At about 25 minutes. Okay. I think I have figured it out. I think. That's it. That's gotta be it. That was almost around the exact same amount of time. That had to have been the sun. Yeah. That's it. That's gotta be it. That has to be it. And, okay, a probe is launched from the probe cannon as soon as you wake up. Right? That, that has to be what that is. That's the probe cannon. It looks like it gets broken as soon as you wake up and a probe is launched somewhere. Holy shit. Okay. I feel like I'm figuring out a lot and also figuring out nothing at the same time. Is that what the interloper is? No, that's something else. That's something else. Okay. So here's the plan. One more time. We're going to go to giant steep. We're going to go back to the construction yard. We're going to look around. If I can't find anything. Then I'm going to go to the, I think it's the ash twin. 
They're talking about the Ash Twin Project. There's also that burning thing right there on the planet that we start out on. Where is Giant's Deep? It's over here. Wow, I feel like my mind is about to explode. Like, I just figured out some crazy shit, but I really didn't figure out anything at all. But I'm pretty sure that has to be like, um, the probe cannon is firing off a probe as soon as you wake up. As soon as you wake up, uh, and it's being broken. It breaks the, the probe cannon, and the probe goes somewhere. Maybe to the Ash Twin. I don't know. I really don't know. We're going to take one more look on this god-awful planet. There we go. Okay, we're landed. Let's go down here and take one more look. And we read all this stuff before. Control module, projection stone. That's what it was. We were able to see the projection stone. Yep, that's where we just were. Okay, very interesting. Long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon about four minutes ago, which is when we started this cycle. A few moments later. Okay, so I don't know what know what else we can really learn from here right now. I'm gonna go back to the ship and we're gonna go to uh, the Ash Twin. I think the Ash Twin. That's what we want. Just want to see if there's anything here, just because the Ash Twin project sounds important. These, then they're like kind of, they're like conjoined. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, this is interesting. What am I looking at? Huh. This doesn't look like there's a lot going on on this planet. Um, so I don't know what just happened, but, uh, my game crashed and both of my OBS recordings just crashed out of nowhere. I don't know why that happened. So the loop that I was in, I think I'm going to have to redo it. Um, so I, I don't know what, I don't know if it saved my progress, you know, with the ship logs for the things I've already learned. I hope it did. So I'm going to just, I'm going to do one more loop. I'm going to do one more time loop and we're going to try to go to the Ash Twin again. It basically crashed like right as I was landing on the Ash Twin. So I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. So it looks like everything that I've done basically has been saved. They're calibrating some sort of device on the Atle Rock in the Lunar Ruins. The probe is going that way. I'm pretty sure that right there is the probe. We're just going to do a little bit of exploring here. I just want to the only reason I'm doing this again is because I heard them mention the Ash Twin Project. Where was I landing before? There was some place I was landing on the Ash Twin. Okay, so, so it looks like part of the Ash planet um, like gets uncovered a little bit. I'm wondering, I, I, I mean, it, okay, so that's that's just not, wanting me, not letting me land there. But yeah, it looks like the Ash Twin uncovers a little bit as time goes on or something. Yeah, that's totally what's happening here. Yeah, it's being sucked into this uh, other twin. Okay, so you know what? Let's do this instead. Let's go to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Not paying attention. Let's go to the Addle Rock. Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Brown Patrol didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Hi. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost. I'm on traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chirk comes by to say hi, but Gambro's Cabro, and you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Totally. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to do? <laughs> Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornfels and Gossin, mostly. Gossin, and not Gossin. And they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. There's gotta be more to do um, on the Idle Rock. Yeah, look at that. There's that. Eska's signal scope log, day 48. Still not picking up Rybik's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Chirk play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossin their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. <laughs> Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybik's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63. 
Today I thought I heard something strange. Hmm. I don't know. It was probably nothing. From where? Day 70. No, it's back again today, too. Timberhearth. Something strange is coming from Timberhearth. Hmm. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timberhearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. Really? Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I better go talk to Ganes. My roommate literally just walked in the door. He's been on vacation for a week. I can hear him walking in the door. It's hilarious. I'm going to leave that in the video. Okay, there's something over here. Is it over here? Yeah, what is this? Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Hmm. I'd posit the Adarok was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. Okay. To follow up Interesting. on- Interesting. Maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Is that what we saw on Giant's Deep on the island that we couldn't really go in? Was that a fragment of Dark Bramble? Ooh, what's this? What's the, what is this? Um. Ooh. Hello? Whoa. Okay. And this is Giant's Deep? Yep. And this is... The, the sun? And what's that? Um, this one is confused. It's not sure what to do. Okay, wonder what's down here. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's hmm. Deep, and Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow was the third one. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never yep. points to just one direction. Yep, that's what I was seeing too. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correct. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends. But I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. Right. We would need to build a more sensitive device. If we then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kazava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Okay. This is a curious result. It's possible the AI has stopped calling out its signal. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Okay. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Konoi would enjoy that immensely. Kanoi. He always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Okay. So the southern glacier, southern pole of the, what did they say? Brittle Hollow? So maybe that is our next location. Let's go look at the ship logs and see what new info we have. Esker's camp. Lunar Lookout, Harmonica Signal, Eye Signal Locator, Rybeck, Southern Observatory. Holy shit, okay. A Nomai device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. The Nomai were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Southern Observatory, the Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated Eye Signal Locator on Brill Hollow's South Pole. Ryback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Esker is uh, growing a crop of trees at their camp they seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. The lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system, Esker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. 
Harmonica signal. Esker's signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like uh, Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space long ago. So we have a couple places now that we can also look. We can go to the South Pole of Brittle Hollow and we can go back to Timber Hearth. Let's go back to Timber Hearth. It looks like there's a couple places on this planet that we can go to that we have not gone to yet. And there was that fire that was going on. Let's see if we can find the fire. Oh, I see it. I see it. There's that fire that was happening. Ooh, hello? What, what is that? It looks like more parts uh, from, um, God, what was that place called? I forget. Brittle hey, Hollow? Hey, hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? I don't know. This looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scalp was sending back. So I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before. So you're probably onto something there. I think so. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Yeah, let's not. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not gonna blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. Yeah. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Yeah, you already lost a leg. So, can I do it with this thing? Whoa. What is happening? Ooh. Hello? What is going on there? Looks like an anglerfish or something. I wonder if this is like, am I, am I going into Dark Bramble doing this? Like, is this what the inside of Dark Bramble is maybe? There's trees in there. That's super weird. Wow, okay. Need something from me, Hatchling? I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? This is gonna be a short to shop up and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I'd better grab an extra axe or three. Okay, so here's my new theory on this thing. And again, don't tell me anything. But on the other side of whatever the seed is, is Dark Bramble. Or at least what the inside of Dark Bramble is. Because like, if you look at Dark Bramble, it's all like busted up. And like chunks of it have gone flying. So maybe the seed of it like it's inside there you can't i've never i haven't been to dark bramble yet but maybe that's somewhere i need to go at some point but that's again just a theory a seed from dark bramble crashed here and has already taken root tektite wants to use a scout launcher to get a, a good look get a look at what's inside i launched my little scout into the seed somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside when i launched my scout into the seed that crashed on timber hearth it ended up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines yeah Okay, what else is there to do on Timber Hearth? We have like these weird glaciers. Not glaciers. Oh, whoa, we got like the. Okay, we got some weird geysers going on. Where does this go? Can I even open this? I think I can. Mining site 2B. Where does this take me? Up and up and up and up and up. So confused. I'm, I'm getting myself completely lost. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ashtrin project acquires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. The material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. Hmm. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. It's very interesting how, like, the information in this game unfolds. 
how you kind of learn new stuff. Pick up Ash Twin Projection Stone. Hello? Whoa. Okay. That's really weird. Why is this so... Uh, the music is too loud. I'm having a hard time with it. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest flower opening in the shell that protects the I think the music is like disaster. a cue that the, the loop is ending, right? I think so. So that's kind of like my cue to know it's ending. Yeah, so... This loop is done. And this ended kind of randomly. I was not expecting to come down here, wherever this is, at all, so... Didn't learn as much as I would have liked, but, you know, whatever. Alright, well, I think that's it for this episode. Lots of weird stuff happening. I think I'm slowly understanding what's what's going on. I feel like I learned a lot, but also didn't do a whole much. A whole much? whole much? A whole lot, so... Yeah, anyways, um, this game is super intriguing. The story is really interesting. I think the way that the story is unfolding is very unique. Somebody said that you could play this game for dozens of hours, but if you know where to go, you can finish it in like 20 minutes. So that's pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'm streaming on Saturday if you want to play Phasmophobia. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.